Xenia and today I'll tell you how to use 3D pen. Uh, here I have uh, two 3D pens with different cords and uh, I'll show how to use one of them because it's the other just a usual 3D pen with a usual plug. Uh, so this is, this is 3D pen which you can also use with uh, um, portable uh, uh, charger with power bank. So um, I don't have power bank here but I'll use the plug and basically you just uh, turn it on and uh, here uh, you might see options uh, of materials and you need to choose one of them which uh, one you will use uh, uh, with for painting so here I have choice of ABS and PLA so since I have PLA I'm choosing PLA obviously uh, in other pens you might need to choose the temperature so for PLA I recommend from uh, 195 to uh, 205 and uh, for ABS uh, I guess the best will be uh, 210 and 215 uh, obviously you need to try uh, uh, how it will work with your pen and for example if it's bubbling uh, when you uh, painting then temperature is too high if it's um, uh, doesn't want to paint so good or it doesn't stick to the paper then the, the temperature is too low and you might need to um, make it a little bit higher like two or three degrees maybe five even so to start the 3d pen in this case you need to press this button extrusion button and it will show you the thread lights uh, in Almost all pens which has the LCD screen it shows the lights, uh, red light when pen is not ready it's warming up and green light when pen is ready. So we're just waiting until pen is ready and uh, once pen is ready we can uh, uh, put uh, in plastic and um, for that we also need to press extrusion button. My pen is not ready yet so I'm just waiting. For some pen it takes a really short time to warm up, for this one uh, it takes uh, approximately one minute to warm up. So I just need to wait a little bit more. It's 160 degrees already. So yeah. Okay, so it's 190 now and now it will show you this green light, but I set up a temperature 200, so I'm waiting for that. So, so here it shows a uh, green light now. It means that we can paint. So we must uh, uh, put on put in plastic and press the extrusion button. And also you need to uh, actually feel that bl plastic falling in, because sometimes it just it can kind of stuck means that uh, our pan is dirty inside or you just didn't press enough so just press a little bit on plastic so it will go in better and in this pan I need to um, set up uh, uh, the speed I need to set up the speed uh, so um, I'm setting up it for four in, in other pan like this one for example you control speed with this with this controller so now I'm just pressing. It must have screwed, screwed now already. I'm just waiting. Um, when you're um, painting, it's good to make in the beginning a small test to check if temperature is right. Yeah, you see now it's going. And it looks fine, it doesn't bubble and it goes pretty smooth. And we'll just check it now on paper if it's painting good. Yeah, this is a perfect temperature. So now I'm using for um, PLA 205 degrees. Sometimes it can vary the temperature because if you have this plastic for a long time, and for example, it was in open box, um, 
it takes humidity inside and uh, that can influence the temperature of uh, melting. So that's how you paint, you just can continue. And uh, uh, once you finished with painting, you need to turn off the paint. But before that, you need to take out the plastic. It's really necessary uh, if you don't want to break your pen. So in this case, you just press the uh, back button and you just press it one time in here. But here, for example, you need to hold it as long as it needs uh, uh, to take out the plastic. But uh, uh, of course, to take out the plastic, it must be uh, also melting temperature because again, it can cause it can cause uh, uh, breaking the pan. So I'm taking out the plastic. Yeah, it can take also a long time in this case. And uh, uh, once you take out the plastic, you must cut this end. Or f for example, with the case of clay, you don't need to cut it, you just break it, because it breaks so easy. So uh, ABS you definitely need to cut and if you work with flexible plastics you need to cut it. But PLA just goes really easy. Uh, so and then you just unplug your pen and that's pretty much all. It's also necessary to clean uh, the extrusion end, uh, the extrusion head because if it's dirty it can also uh, spoil your painting if you want to paint really neat things. So this is all. I want to say now uh, that was Ksenia. You can subscribe uh, on our channel and you can go to penandplastic.com for more information about 3D pens and plastic you can use and for some tutorials and uh, free stencils. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>